Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stop motion like effect using the posterize video effect. So I've got this clip on the timeline, it's just a, some b-roll footage of some cars driving along. And in order to get this stop motion like effect, you want to head over to the effects panel and open up the video effects section. Here you should find a folder called time and if you open that up you should see one called posterize time. So you can actually click and drag this effect either directly onto the video clip or on an adjustment layer above the video clip. You can create adjustment layers by clicking on the project, going to file, new adjustment layer. But in this case I'm just going to put it right on the clip and show you guys how it works. So here's the posterized time and there's only one parameter and it's frame rate and you can mask it if you want. But essentially what this does is it allows you to adjust the frame rate to a lower speed than it actually is. So what that ends up doing is making the video look choppy. So if I cut this 24 in half and make it 12, let's see what that looks like. So you can see it goes really fast uh, chops of these cars driving by. So you got to kind of play around with it because if you do a slow frame rate but not quite slow enough, it might just look like your video is lagging or the uh, the camera was lagging or something. But if you make it slow enough so that it looks intentional of an effect, like let's say 6, then it can start to look like, oh, they're, they're trying to do like a cool, fun, stop motion like video effect. Now the audio underneath will not um, sync up with the chop, it'll just play through like normal. So one thing you could do is, if you don't want to use the original audio, you could either mute or delete it and maybe drag some music in there and maybe syncopate the music with the frame rate to make kind of like a fun stop motion intro sequence or, or montage sequ sequence. But essentially the frame rate is how many frames per second are, is the clip going to play. So if it's at three, it's going to play three frames of the original video clip per second. If the frame rate's at one, then it's going to play one frame of the clip per one second. So that's going to look really stopped and cut. And just to further illustrate this point, if I make the frame rate zero, then nothing happens. It just stuck on the first frame because you're telling it to play zero frames per second. On the other end of things, if you make the frame rate higher than 24, or the original clip speed, you might not notice anything really. If you start to go all the way up to 99, then you're kind of trying to tell it to work with more than the original frame rate originally was recorded on with the camera. So you might notice a weird jittery effect when you try to put it up way too high, but essentially not much will happen if you try to increase the frame rate because that data is not there from the camera. But you can cut the frame rate in half or thirds or down to just a couple frames per second to create this cool stop motion effect. So that's the posterized time video effect. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it below. It helps me out. And check out my channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials. Also, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all types of new creative videos from me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.